I'm back in my van. Okay. Family, YouTube friends, I have to tell you, the very reason I started this van journey was that I was retired and found that even though I was retired, most of my time was being used in ways other than what I would really want to do. And guess what? I've been letting it happen again. Um, I know I was doing some things. I think my last video, I said I was hibernating a little bit. You know, we had the big winter rush coming through and I was taking care of some last minute things, getting some things organized, um, dealing with the nonprofit before I get back out on the road, <clears throat> taking care of things that I need to do in person. I still have a sticks and bricks uh, property. So, so there were some things, some maintenance that needed to be done. But <laughs> one day turned into weeks, turned into months, and I'm like, oh no, it's happening again. And I love family. I am all about family. M you know, me and my family, we're extremely close. But you know how you find yourself kind of getting drawn into other things? I've always been guilty of that, which is why I wanted to start the, the van journey anyway. So I've been taking small little trips and just coming back. But now, I'm about to go and I don't know when I'm coming back. But that's why, but I just wanted to say, if you don't watch it, even if you are not doing full-time van life, even if you're a weekender, whatever it may be, you don't even have to have a van. But what if you're just someone who fails to make time for themselves? That's me. And... It's not a bad thing to be helpful and want to help people and do things, but if you don't watch it, you will find that you will basically just give away all of your time. And that's not ever healthy. You should always make time for yourself. So, oddly enough, the wake-up call came from my daughter. Um, she knows, she, I just love spending time with my granddaughter whenever I have an opportunity. But even my daughter asked, she's like, Mom, what? when are you leaving? Aren't you supposed to be going? Because I think even she knows that I will get so wrapped up into everything that's going on and I'll get involved in this and then get involved in that. And then um, ironically yesterday when I was checking on my 86 year old aunt after she had her second COVID shot, she even told me, she was like, hey, um, have you been making time for yourself? Now, if that's not a wake-up call, I don't know what is. So, yeah, I had already been planning to get back on the road, but I could have already been back on the road. And I mean just extensively, not taking a weekend trip here or there. I'm retired, and I haven't even been behaving that way. How many can relate to that, huh? Anyway, I'm going to make this quick. But now that I am getting back on the road, I just want to kind of make you laugh. <laughs> I'm like, hey, it's going to be hot. So am I going to have enough air because I don't have an AC? Um, this is just a, a van that I purchased and just put some stuff in, right? But let me show you what I think may be my remedy for the heat. Okay, I know I spoke about in another video my window vents that I purchased. Well, they're in. So that's going to be my front window ventilation. Nice little air coming through too. You know, it has a little screen. So even when it's raining, I'm able to have the windows um, with a nice little area with some air to come in. But look at this. Oh, I also have my, excuse the video quality. Of course, I have my Max Air van, fan at the top that I use my Jacare to power. <laughs> But look at this. I purchased one, two, three USB fans. I definitely don't think that's too much. It may not even be enough. I also have a fan next to the bed. Now that fan has to be plugged into work. So I needed to make sure that if there's a day where I have to kind of charge up my Jackery, that I can just open the vent at the top, have the vents in the windows, and have my USB, v, um, USB excuse me, fans running. 
I also have one of these little Arctic Air Ultra things. Now, I don't, I, I'm not too sure how great that's going to be, but I thought it was worth a try. Who knows? Uh, stop, you know, while I'm driving, grab some ice, wet it, put some ice cubes in there, and it may blow some cool air. Oh, and while I'm at it, look at what one of the ladies from my church group got for me. I thought that was so cool. I've been to a lot of these states, however, in my van, I hadn't been. So the only places I've been venturing at state parks and so forth in my van have been Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, North Carolina. And I'm going to be heading back up to North Carolina, as a matter of fact. And then kind of going on a nice little road trip with a couple of the ladies I'm meeting up with. I'm really excited about that. That'll be great. So one of the ladies got this for me. So I'm just going to kind of put little pegs as I'm crossing over and give little updates. I just thought that was so cool. So yeah, I'm about to head back out. I was really kind of concerned about the air, but I think between opening my side door when I'm camped with my, my netting up and with these fans blowing when necessary, yep, I think I'll be okay. So yes, that was a quick little update. I've been doing small little trips. You know what? I, I don't really do a lot of video of that, especially if I'm meeting up with some friends and family. I don't like just throwing them on camera. But um, that's just mostly what I've been doing. But most of my time, I've just been giving away. And it's time to stop that. It's great to have purpose, especially dealing with the nonprofit. I'm going to have my laptop with me. So the things that I can do virtual, I will be doing. But everything I had to do in person, I wanted to get out of the way. But I just slowly started letting a whole lot of other stuff get thrown into the fray. You know what I mean? It's time out for that. So yeah, that was my quick update. Don't give away all of your time. Make time for yourself too. Okay? Be cool. Be great. Stay blessed. Bye.